What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and today chapter 3 season 3 is finally coming out. In this video we're going to be going over all the new changes that are coming in this new update and we're doing it in under 5 minutes. But hey, before all that, if you want to improve fast this season and reach your greatest potential, then you need to head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaches are ready and waiting no matter your skill level to help you improve. Want to finally qualify for the FNCS? Or how about just reaching the higher levels of Arena? Well, ProGuides can help you whatever you're trying to achieve. Click the link in the description now. The IO has been cleared from the map and the island is safe, so this summer it's time to chill with the Fortnite vibin season. For a start, ballers are back and the IO's base of operations has been taken over by a roller coaster that you can actually use the ballers on. These ballers can also be used in combination with the slipstream, which seems to have finally returned. Meanwhile, another POI has seen the rise of a giant reality tree that seems to be linked to the zero point in some way. It also seems to have caused some major mushroom growth in a brand new biome leading to some crazy looking mushroom forests and areas like Greasy Grove to be infested by shrooms. The block is returning as a POI on the Season 3 map, but we don't know when it will be arriving. In fact, the only reason we know it's coming at all is because of a post on the official Fortnite Creative blog. There are also some smaller changes across the map, primarily in this new biome. Tilted is being rebuilt, the shark has arrived and so has a part of the dusty depot and that classic giant chair. Looks like the reality tree is pulling things from across the dimensions. We've got a DMR rifle that will allow players to zoom in and shoot single shots for pretty good damage. It's not quite as good as a sniper rifle would allow you to dish out, but it's impressive. The highest level of this weapon would still take three headshots to eliminate an enemy. There's a new grappling hook that seems to work in a similar way to Spider-Man's web slingers. It'll be in both pubs and competitive. In comp, it has 10 shots, whereas in pubs, it has 30. As well as these are the Hammer Assault Rifle, which has an okay right of fire and damage, but isn't anything to write home about, and the two-shot shotgun which will shoot two shots out in a burst at a time. Included in this season is going to be Darth Vader's Saber, a mythic item. It works a little differently from previous lightsabers in the game. Not only can it be swung and used to block shots, it can also be thrown like a deadly boomerang and you can even use Vader's force powers to choke people out. Another crazy item being added to the island is the Sawblade Launcher. This item will allow you to fire out giant saw blades that will spin across the ground, dealing massive amounts of damage to players and builds alike. Wildlife is back but has completely changed. We've spoken about the rideable animal leaks for ages now and they're finally here. That's right, you can mount up on wolves and boars and use them to get around faster. To do this, you need to find the new saddler weapon and shoot a saddle onto the animal you're trying to ride. The junk rift is back allowing players to drop interdimensional objects on their foes from above. We've also got reality seed pods, which are new this season. You can plant them and they will grow in the same spot every match you play. As long as you weed your plant every game, the loot it gives you will increase all the way up to mythic. This sounds pretty OP, so hopefully it's not incompetitive. There are also bouncy mushrooms, which will allow you to spring up high into the sky. According to G Matrix Games, the storm might work a little bit differently this season, inflicting storm sickness if you stay in it for too long. Though what that actually means, we're not entirely sure. So that's everything fresh this season. There have been some absolutely massive changes both to the map and to the mechanics of the game. Let me know in the comments what you think about everything that has happened this season. Oh, and if you're feeling the vibes, make sure you like this video and subscribe with the bell notification button turned on. We're going to have a follow up short coming out later going over the full loot pool changes when they get revealed, so you're going to want to sub for that. 